Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Indian manufactured fountain pen. And this one is from a new company called Outcheer, I think, A-U-T-E-U-R. Hope I pronounce it okay. This is Star One Jumbo from Outcheer. And before we begin, Humble request to all my viewers to please subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. So I'll talk about the pen, the parts, my likes, dislikes, and then we'll have a small writing sample. So this pen is, you know, made of entirely plastic, a kind of resin, and it has a big cap. The cap is quite big if you see. This it keep goes till here. The cap is very heavy, quite heavy, good cap, the clip is a little bit tight but quite functional. The There is a big band around this, you know, in, around the cap, steel steel band that adds to the weight of this you know, cap due to this and the fin even the finial is also steel. So all these parts make this cap a really heavy, heavy cap. And there is a steel finial on the barrel end also and due to that this pen has some added weight. So the good thing about this pen is this is a big pen the size of this, the pen is very good and this pen is a cartridge converter pen and I like about this is the what I like most about it it is not an eyedropper pen. So let's you know first fill in ink into this pen and then we'll talk further. So I have Brill with me, so I'll, I'll Brill ink into this. I love Brill ink actually, so you might have seen me using Brill ink in all, almost all my videos. I just, you know, love this ink. This is a pist uh, cartridge converter, converter pen. So I'm just putting it into the ink bottle and pulling the ink in to the converter okay it's done so I generally you know before shooting the videos I generally fill the pen write it with it a couple of days or even a week and then I do, a, do, do the review but not with this pen I'll tell you why so First, you know, the things that I don't like about this pen. So when I received this pen, the out of the box nib, that was damn scratchy. It almost, it was so scratchy that it almost tore the paper on which I wrote. So this is the nib that I initially got with this pen and you can see how scratchy it is. I had to, you know, Replace this nib. I had a spare, spare nib from Perry Cardin's president, so I used that nib as a replacement for this nib. I had some Conrad nibs also, but I did not, you know, use those. In this pen, I'll tell you now why. Because you know the the, the you know ugliest thing is in this pen is that this pen smells a lot the the plastic in this pen smells a lot even from this way a, a foot away you can smell the smell the plastic that's why i did not want it to you know waste any good nibs onto this pen because i'm not going to use this pen that is the only problem that i find in this pen otherwise this pen is good the weight is good and if you replace this the nib of this pen with a can write nib this will be a great great writer so if you compare the size of this pen you can see this is a very decent pen a big pen even if you un uncap and then compare it it is almost the size of the entire parker frontier capped besides this i don't you know besides the body and the smell of this pen i don't have any issues with this pen of course the nib okay so let's do a small writing sample so i have my rodeo pad 
Okay, let's see if it works. Yes, it does. So this nib is, by the way, broad nib. So pen for the day. A U T E U R. I think I'm spelling and writing it, pronouncing it right. Star one jumbo seventy one. I think this is the one seventy one jumbo. Okay. Ink is brill. So I just replaced the nib. I have not replaced the you know feed. Feed is plastic in this pen. It is a stock feed and with that feed the flow of the ink is okay. Since this is a broad nib, so this is doing fine. So I tested the you know fine nib also on this pen, but with fine nib the flow is not that good. It, 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 you know, since it, uh, either the nib was not good, so I could not, uh, you know, uh, I cannot comment on that. So, this is a broad nib, so this has some line variation. Can't, you know, really comment on the nib in this part, in this pen. But the only downside of this pen was the nib and the smelly body. If you can replace this pen, nib, and Luckily, if you don't get a smelly body of this pen, this pen will be. I'll, 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 I'll you know, bet that this will be your daily writer. This pen costs around three fifty rupees, which is a decent price for this pen. I think this is really justified price. And I just request the you know manufacturer of this pen to just please work on the smell of the body of this pen otherwise there's no problem with this pen and the nib box of course <laughs> i always forget forget about the nib anyways hope this video helps and thanks for watching the video please like the video uh, share the video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos thank you bye bye